Hello, my most awesome fifth grade artist. Isn't this a pretty sun? This is going to be our next project. We are going to be making these full relief suns using a variety of materials and maybe some new techniques that you've never done before. So I'm really excited about this. I think you will be also. But to start with, let's talk about what a relief is. A relief art refers to sculptures or carvings that are attached to a flat surface, giving some depth, but it's not freestanding. It's not like a statue that just stands alone. Relief has some, uh, some areas that kind of come out from the surface. So you can kind of tell on mine that you see some of these facial features of the sun that are kind of coming out. A good example would be a coin. This is a quarter, and so you see if you touch the surface, you can feel how George Washington's head on there is raised some, and the lettering also. That is a relief. So we're going to be doing this one. I wanted to show you another example of a relief art sun. Isn't that pretty? So you can see that it's on a solid background, but you can tell even just by looking at this picture that areas of it kind of stand out a little bit more than others. And I love those pretty metallic colors that they used. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by, you're gonna have a piece of 12 by 12 black construction paper. You're gonna put your name label on the back. And then you're gonna each get a piece of cardboard, two pieces of cardboard. So what you're gonna do, I'm not gonna do every part of this, I'm just kind of gonna kind of explain it to you. What you're going to do to begin with is take one sheet of your cardboard paper and use this template to create a circle. You're just gonna trace around your circle and then cut it out. So that will be your base for your son's face. The next thing you're gonna do is take your other piece of cardboard and you're gonna draw the facial features on here. So this is one that I've put together. We'll talk about this one in a minute. But I'm gonna show you drawing with a Sharpie, but you can just use a pencil. I just thought the Sharpie would show up a little bit better. All right, so to start with, we are going to need some eyes for our sun. So I kind of like to put my base of my sun. It would just be, yours wouldn't have the features on it yet. It would just be this but sort of next to it so you can see how big you need to make these features. So I'm going to draw an eye shape. This is an ellipse, it looks like a football. Now in order for both of my eyes, you'll have two eyes obviously, you can cut this one out and trace it for your other one. So I'm really right now just gonna draw one eye and I know that I will trace it after I cut it out and make the other one. The same thing with the eyebrow. So I'm going to make a block style eyebrow. I'll need two of those, so I'll know that I'll cut this one out and trace it over here. Okay, so inside the eye, we need some pupils. So I'm gonna draw a circle that would be small enough to fit inside the eye, but big enough that you can see it. Again, I would cut that out and trace it. The nose is next. So you, there's a variety of nose shapes. The one that I chose kind of came down like this. We had some curving areas for the nostrils and it went up like that. So that would be my nose. You won't need to trace that. And then my mouth is going to be, I'm gonna start with the very top lip, go up and then it comes down in that little dip. And mine's a little exaggerated and then the bottom lip. And later when we color it in, we'll have, you would have that line in the middle, but we'll do that when we color in. Now you also need to have some areas in here to fill the um, cheek areas, just so you've got some variety going on. So I'm gonna make some circles. See how I've made these circles and I've stacked them. One's bigger than the other. And again, I can trace these to get the other side. So you would cut all of those out and then you would use some of your Elmer's school glue and just attach all your pieces. So I have stacked some of these areas. It's good because it'll kind of give you even more three dimension when you um, start to add your foil. And that's the part that's gonna be really neat and make this look neat and shiny. 
All right, so after those have been assembled and they probably need to be dry so we don't move those shapes around, this is the part that your teacher will do. So teachers, you're gonna have a piece of foil, shiny side up. You know how one side's more matte? If you make a mistake, it'll probably be fine, but I like to use the shiny side. You're going to take this and spray glue all over it. Teachers, the spray glue can be messy. I recommend that you do this part for the students because it can get on your fingers. It's not very forgiving. You need to have an area over a garbage can with maybe some old papers laid out to catch any of the glue so it doesn't get on the floor. I'm gonna go over to the side. You won't be able to see me, but I am going to spray a layer of uh, spray glue all over it. I'm gonna bring this back. The glue is still tacky, still wet. I'm going to put this on top of it and just start smoothing. Now you can let the students do this part. You just start smoothing and you will see those facial features begin to appear. See, can you tell in the video? I'm trying to look and see. Get every single area smoothed in and really get in there around the edges of your shapes, of your facial features. Really push down hard. Don't use your fingernails though. Your fingernails would tear the foil. Just use the tip of your finger and get everywhere so you see all of those shapes begin to show up. All around those edges, around the edge of your sun. I need to do some more on that eye and that eyebrow because I'm not seeing. Teachers, a good coat of that glue will help. Okay, so you see there I'm seeing all of my facial features. And then you can just fold that back on itself. You could even cut some of it off, but you want to get it so it's got a good circle edge. Foil is really good. It'll just kind of stick down like that. Teachers, you might want to help the kids. You want to keep that good circle shape on the edge. So do what you have to do by smooshing that foil in to make that happen. You're not going to see this side. We're going to glue it to the uh, construction paper. So okay if you don't that doesn't look beautiful on the back but when I turn it over you see it looks like that so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to center this on my construction paper you can either use hot glue teachers oh, I'll close my glue you can use hot glue you the teacher don't let the kids do that or you can use some of this Elmer's glue glue it down really good before they start coloring though, they need to be glued down good because if they start coloring and it's just the Elmer's glue, it might slide around. I'm gonna press that down really good. And I've got my Silver Sun, but we're gonna start adding color with Sharpies and make this really look awesome. All right, so you should have a variety of Sharpies and you're gonna let the students color this. Now there's a technique to coloring and it's very important to make it look neat. So I'm gonna start with the eyebrows. So I think I'm gonna make the eyebrows this orangey red color. All right, watch me first. I am going to outline the shape first. This is important to make these look nice and neat. Then I'm gonna color in and I'm gonna use the ladder method. That's where I start at the top I go all the way across, coloring in the same direction. I've, I'm kind of holding my Sharpie on the side and it makes a thicker line. And then I'm going down the ladder. So I start back on this side. It helps you go in the same direction. When you are coloring something like this and you color all different ways, it looks very sloppy and it doesn't look good in the end. So you want a nice finished product. So then I would do the same thing over there. On the eye, let me show you my finished one. The only thing I left silver on this was the eye part because I wanted that to really stand out and have emphasis on the eyes. 
So I left my eyes silver. You can do the same thing if you want to. So I'm gonna color this blue part. So what do I do first? I outline, start at the top and go across and then go down. I'm climbing down the ladder, holding my Sharpie kind of on the side. Okay, so I'll get all of my features colored in and Sharpies are so pretty on this foil. It's like it makes them really shiny and pretty. Then the last thing I would do is color the entire background of my sun. So you can use whatever, you can use orange or a warm color, but I'm gonna start at the top and I'm still doing the ladder method. See how I'm going in the same direction all the way across. It's gonna take a little time, but it'll be worth it because these are gonna look so pretty. I can't wait to get them on Artsonia, and some of these will be in the art show. So you really wanna do a good job, but look how pretty that yellow is doing on there. Doing the ladder method. I'm not going every direction and making it look really sloppy. Okay, so once you get all of that colored in, I wanna show you something else on my finished one. I outlined all of my shapes with a black Sharpie and that just really made them stand out and pop a little bit more. So if you like that look, you can do that. You don't have to, but I really like the look of outlining all of my shapes. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add our rays for the sun. And I love combining materials and we're gonna create some more texture on this by adding pieces of yarn. So you're gonna have lots of different uh, pieces and textures of yarn and colors, and you can do this however you want. But the way that I did this, I already have a few of these cut, and I just start by making lines with my glue. I've just got a bottle of Elmer's glue here. Maybe I want this one to kind of be a curvy line. You can do this however you want. And then you just start attaching these pre-cut pieces of yarn. So I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna line it all up. And my piece of yarn is a little too long, so I'm just gonna snip that off with my scissors. I'm gonna make sure that gets in that glue so it will stick. And then I'm gonna do this one. I've already um, cut that, but again, it's gonna be too long. So I just take my scissors and snip off that end. And that looks really pretty using the same kind of yarn all the way around, or maybe you like the look where I kind of use different types of yarn, two different types, you could use more than that. And make this look however you want. This is your sign and I want it to be how you want it to be. So take your time, do a great job, and I will see you next time. Bye.